Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a quick video of something special that I just got recently on eBay. In fact, it's a special gift of something that I actually grew up with ever since I was a kid. And I'm going to show you that gift right now. And here it is, a coffee or tea mug of the Los Angeles based feeder chain called Pacific Feeders which is the 80's logo that lasted until 1995 when it got replaced by this specific feeders logo the one with the projector yep and it has both specific feeders on top and bottom in that particular font which is being used today it operated several feeders in the Los Angeles area now that all the other feeder chains have bought them out in California such as Reading Cinemas from Australia Century Feeders which is now owned by Cinemark and all the other feeders around the world they also had a sister feeder called Consolidated Feeders that's in Hawaii and they also had a sister feeder called the Arclight Cinemas which operates the Cinerama Dome and they now have other locations that were owned by Pacific Feeders includes the one in Pasadena that's in the Paseo Colorado the Sherman Oaks Galleria Clover City and Beach Cities and this is the one that I remember seeing when I was a kid back in the 80's and 90's that's where I went to go see films like Turner and Hooch, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Back to the Future, Part 3, I think I saw Part 2 here, I'm not so sure. I think I also saw Who Framed Roger Rabbit, as well as uh, Short Circuit 2, Home Alone, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, Total Recall, the 1990 film with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bram Stoker's Dracula, Batman Mass of the Phantasm, yeah, the animated film, and several others. This logo has a giant yellow P in a black box with two leaders, one in turquoise blue on the left and a tiny red leader on top and it has a black cursive font that says Pacific Feeders yeah. now this feeder had operated three Glendale locations the Regency 1 and 2 that's located at Bran yeah, one that's now the Royal Palace it was right next to Lamps Plus and Video West Arcade both of which are now the Museum of Neon Art and Bevmo and the other one was located at the old Masonic Temple which now it's being remodeled they used to uh, operate the noise within after this feeder got closed and the Roxy which is now the Beyond the Stars Palace yeah it was a feeder that's located right where the old Glendo Fiddle building used to be which is now the Hollywood Production Center and they also operated the Eagle Rock Plaza feeder in Eagle Rock California of course yeah so this is the logo I remembered they also show this logo at the Pickwick drive-in in Burbank California which is no longer there anymore it's been demolished and became the Rancho Marketplace where Denny's, Pavilions, El Poloco is now located. There was the Van Nuys Drive-In, the Vermont, Winneka, Lakewood, Cinerama Dome, El Capitan, The Quest, you guessed it, all had the familiar logo. I actually remember this same logo actually had free policy trailers that was used at the drive-in 
and also in feeder change everywhere all rock ends yeah one was in a black background where they just show two liters you know, red and turquoise and then the yellow giant P had faded in and then you see the cursive font of Pacific feeders in blue and it just says our feature presentation the other one that was in a white cloud background with a clapperboard or slate opens up and it reveals the giant yellow P and then you see the two leaders and the black box and the cursive font that says Pacific Feeders and then suddenly the black box suddenly goes all the way down to the bottom and cuts to black just like that and then it also has all the other uh, trailers to go with it such as feature presentation scenes of coming attractions and all that you name it and the other one just has the I probably did remember a little bit of it but not as much but it did have the line people pleasing people you know that was their slogan I'm going to show you on the back but it also had a drive-in policy trailer where they just show an animated uh, 50 style drive-in feeder um, intermission which they just show the refreshments the, the drive-in screen that has the Pacific logo on top of it and it just tells you thanks enjoy the show and please use the exit right yeah I wish I could see that again yeah because the last time I saw that was when I went to go see Independence Day and all the other films yeah even Mission Impossible at the Van Nuys Drive-In in Van Nuys California yeah well, let's get right to it. I actually paid this uh, on eBay for fifteen ninety six, which is up for shipping costs of four eighty five, because the original cost was nineteen ninety five uh, with free shipping, so it doubles it up to twenty eighty one, I believe. So yeah, <laughs> it was a little too much, but it was worth it. And on the back, you can see the slogan. People pleasing people. <laughs> yeah, that's their old slogan that was used since 1991 or two. And indeed, the mug is made in China. <laughs> wow, this is a really cool mug. And I'm just happy that I finally own this because this is the logo I really remembered. I wish I could see all the original policy trailers up on the internet so that way we get to see it for ourselves because I know they've been posting some very old policy trailers of other feeder chains like General Cinema, Man Feeders. I know there was the Pacific Feeders policy trailer from 1995 that's already up but I wish it was in better quality. Um, they also have AMC, the Carmike Cinemas and all the rest even the Cinemark yeah I just wish we could see more of the 80's version from Pacific Feeders more than ever because that way we get to see exactly what I remembered yeah hopefully someday if everybody out there who had work at these feeders and had kept those uh, 35 millimeter prints will be able to post them up on the internet so we finally get to see them in high definition because that's what I want to see. So anyway, that's my mug that I just purchased on eBay. Pacific Feeders. People pleasing people. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.